three pours in a row. I'm proud of you. Yeah. Not too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you gonna watch the new live action Avatar? Fuck no. When was the last time you watched the original series? <sighs> it must have been like a decade ago. Probably thereabouts. Uh, but I don't know. Try not to talk about Avatar because people don't like my people opinion. Really good. People yeah. do not like my <laughs> opinions on Avatar, which I think uh... I think my opinions on Avatar, like the Last Airbender, are, is so fair. And it's people fair. really hate my opinion on it people because don't... I think it is just an okay kids show. Yeah, can't be fair. You can't be can't be fair. You have to love it. Oh my god, you I don't were get a this. Kid when it came out, you have to love it. Fuck off. Season one still looks like shit. It's pretty, like, like, have you seen those DVDs? I hate the DVD renders for that show. Like it's, every single DVD set of season one, garbage. It's pretty hot trash. What they did. I don't know thing. how they encoded the show incorrectly like that. You have to wear three D glasses in order to see <laughs> one fucking regular image. I'm just like I hate this. Like half the episodes are kind of not good. <laughs> uh, is it? different compared to what people are watching fuck no we had justice league unlimited at the same time yeah think about that for a moment it's kind of true like, <laughs> if you're gonna put both shows in front of me it's like do you want to watch three seasons of justice league unlimited or three seasons of avatar and i'm like i'm already watching justice league. and i kind of ardently <laughs> refuse to believe that there are kids that were just nickelodeon kids that doesn't exist i refuse to believe because like like I would, I would give that there's like people that like, yeah, I don't really, I didn't really care for anything on Nickelodeon. I just watched Cartoon Network. I would believe that, yeah, way more, mm -hmm. you know, because I, I'm, I watch a majority Cartoon Network as yeah. opposed to Nickelodeon. But like, well, it's like what, what did Nick have? You at had, that time, you had SpongeBob, which was never good. I'm sorry, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> we have to go there. It's fine. We had um... Mighty B was on at the time. That show doesn't exist. Uh, we had the Fairly Odd Parents, which I guess didn't ruin its reputation yet. Not then. I think Danny Phantom was still on. At the Danny time Phantom as well. was still on, but it was ruining its reputation. It then. was. That was around season three. Yep, so like yep. its reputation was already ruined. Uh, Teenage Robot was that mm, time as well. Two thousand five. No, that no, might it have was been off air. That by might then. have been a little late. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, maybe. Yeah, I think that might have ended in two thousand three. Yeah. There was only like three seasons of that and show. I can't think of like anything else that was really like airing around I wasn't a Nickelodeon kid guys I'm sure you can tell um, but uh because I would go to that channel and be like wow there's fucking nothing except Spongebob playing all day and there was so much Spongebob and so much Philly Odd Parents that I'm like I can't yeah. be bothered <laughs> no was there another Hartman joint on at that time no. What year did Tough Puppy start? Tough Puppy was later. That, that we, was the, we were in high school. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like the Madagascar Penguins was on around that time. Really? That yeah. early? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So it's like, I don't know. I don't uh, know. Yeah, no. Nickelodeon didn't have a lot going on, really. I didn't really care for it. Like, like overall. And their live action programming was not doing it either. You know, they they weren't Disney. What did they have? I don't know. <laughs> they had iCarly. Oh, and true. Drake and Josh. <laughs> that and, is the Colonial And Fuck. Victorious. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> we had the. Um... The Schneider Schneiderverse. Yeah, we had the whole. The, yeah, Nickelodeon was. The live action Nickelodeon was just the Schneiderverse. Yeah, yeah. Which. Ooh, there's a documentary about that coming out. Ooh. Like a. Like a. Like a it's a. I don't know if it's a single documentary or a docuseries. Mm -hmm. It's about, like, the Schneiderverse. Uh, I mean, like, there's not much to say, right? Like, it right. was, uh, it, it's, it's gross, but amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, because they're bringing back a bunch of people that, Ooh. they're bringing people that worked on the shows and actors that have never spoken out about it before for this. Oh, that's cute. So I'm, like, kind of, I'm, I'm curious that's to cute. watch it. Okay. Well, I have, I'll have to find what it's on. Maybe we can watch it's it. It's probably on Peacock. I think it would have to be. Because that's the Nickelodeon service. I'll have to... Or, it, no, Paramount. Paramount, sorry. I get those I confused. don't think it's on Paramount, though. But I'll I'll look for it. It's but fine. I don't remember it's the fine. name. Which but one was your favorite? Which? Oh, uh, Snyderverse? Yeah. Um, Probably iCarly, because it was the one I watched the most. Mm -hmm. I liked to Drake and Josh, but it didn't... But, you know, Miranda Cosgrove got her own show, and I liked Jeanette McCurdy, like, a lot. Yeah, yeah. 
and I liked I liked seeing Jerry Trainer more as kind of crazy Steve from Jake and Josh, but doing more with it a little yeah. bit, like actually functioning like a person instead of being a gag character. No, I get that. Um, so oh yeah, there was the Amanda show too. I watched the hell out of the Amanda show. <laughs> that counts as the Snyder. That is the yeah. yeah that was I think counts. that was the first one that he did. Yeah, yeah. That's where that. Jake and Josh came from. Yeah, they they yeah. were both on the Amanda show. And what then, a weird time. Yeah. They all they all spun off from one another. I, I feel like Nickelodeon's time was like the nineties and that was it. And that was had, just because that was before the other networks really were able took to off, take off. off. Yeah. Cause you had like the all that sort of era yeah. of Nickelodeon. Was Are You Afraid in the Dark? Are you afraid one? of the dark? Yeah, that was then. Yeah. Um I mean, I keep thinking of all that, but like you have like the Kenan Thompson is one of the actors mm-hmm. that came out of that and like that was era. Was that also Boy Good Meets Burger? World? Um, I thought Boy Meets was World Disney was Channel? Disney. I don't remember. Even Stevens was Disney. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Was Boy Meets World? It had to have been Disney. It had to have been Disney. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. And then, of course, there's all the uh, Class B Chuko series. <laughs> all the dog shit ugly series. They're all so ugly. Why do they look like that? Like, <laughs> Every single one. Like, I, I know you think Rocket Power looks ugly. It, it does. I, I would say it's not the highest on the ugly tier. <laughs> Like, just because you're one of the least offensive Class B Chuko series doesn't mean I still don't think it's offensive. What is what is the least offensive Class B Chuko series? Uh, is it As Told by Ginger? No. <laughs> Rocket Power is less ugly than As Told by Ginger. What are you talking about? <laughs> Literally, what are you talking about? It's either, like, I'd, I'd, I'd maybe... Josh, I don't know how to bring this to you. Rocket Power is their least ugly show. It looks so bad to me. <laughs> I hate the color design. I hate like, like I, I like, hate the proportions of the characters. See, I get that, but they are worse in all the other shows. I promise. Ah, uh, what's the? That's what I'm thinking of. Because Wild Thornberries is Wild also, Thornberries. That one is it. ugly. That one's I think is a little. I I prefer the character designs there. I I can. They're more appealing overall. Like yeah. I get it. But it's not the Rocket Power is not the ugliest show. I promise. I don't think it's the ugliest. I think Ah Real Monsters is the ugliest. <laughs> okay. Show. Okay. Yeah. Fair but enough. But at least that show. That's but the that's, gimmick. That's on purpose, right? <laughs> yeah. I also think Rugrats looks horrifying. Rugrats that's is just me. Rugrats has always looked bad. We watched it because it was on, but it always yeah, looked yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Was all grown up ugly? I mean, it was just like, it was Rugrats, but a little more subdued and digitally done. So like, Yeah, it didn't have as like rough of outlines. It was all digital by that point. Yeah. But... I mean, I don't. I wouldn't. Call and I it remember ugly, the. Actually. Um, I remember the colors being more muted. Yes. As well, Tommy's got a normal looking head. Angelica's still got kind of a largish head. Yeah. Um. Weird. Yeah. Hey, Arnold wasn't a Klaatichuko. No. Series. I. It's, you. You would get confused <laughs> that it wasn't though, because of his. Oh yeah. That head. Ball head. That, that his head. literal yeah. head. Yeah. Mm. What a weird show. Yeah. I see. That was when Nickelodeon had. I, I, w- I fuck with Hey Arnold. Everyone does. It's one of those things of like, fuck, I'm not going to compliment Hey Arnold. Everyone compliments Everyone Hey does. Arnold. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Everyone just casually enjoys Hey Arnold. Did you ever watch the Jungle movie? Fuck no. I don't care. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's one of those. Th- there, there is a it's too late. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I don't care. Yeah, I get that. I really don't. It's okay. When I never cared about the ongoing continuity. Of, right. Like, uh, I'm here to watch stupid kids do stupid shenanigans. Yeah. Like, like when it gets to the levels of, of that where there's, like, real stakes. I don't care. But, and, and, you know. But, like, and then you have, like, the or the original movie that came yeah. out. Or when that show was airing. Which had bigger stakes, but it still felt like a real, realistic thing that they could do. I think, like, uh, I think my issue with those is just, like... Wow, instead of a 11 to 20 minute episode, I don't have to sit here for two hours. But you love the characters that much, you're okay with it. I don't. It, right? But, <laughs> but how can you how can you not love Phoebe? 
no. she's right there. No. <laughs> Helga's also pretty good. Helga's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Helga is baby's first yandere crush, right? <laughs> 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 like she's the soft core yandere baby oh <laughs> like, my god <laughs> like you haven't watched mirai nikki yet and haven't yeah. been like oh <laughs> that's the woman i want but <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> fuck because helga's like 80 percent there yeah I, I could see that being like formative enough that if someone encountered it again in another character when they're older or if it's an anime yeah they're like oh i'm horny yeah <laughs> right yeah yeah it do be that way it oh. do be that way we're in the red room yeah red not that red room. room the other red room oh damn we we aren't here with diane <laughs> diane i'm in the red room <laughs> I need to watch more Twin Peaks. We probably need to watch more I Twin Peaks. I think so. It do be what it is. I don't like this room, but I do what he says. He goes through the process again with me. Just make sure it all sticks. Do you remember uh, Delusion? Delusions? Oh, God. No. That's okay. Let's go through it again. No, 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 You don't want to learn how to develop film again? No, 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 no. But it's so fun. No, 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 fuck. I have myself a strong concentration of developing fluid. I have 100 milliliters of strong developing solution poured from a jar. I want to dilute this solution by making it half a quarter the strength of its original solution. Just write it down. If adding 100 milliliters of water to the solution makes it half as strong, how many, mil how many 100 milliliter additions do I need to add to make sure it's half a quarter strength and concentration? Oh, no, stop. What it's half? Wait, what? Add, adding 100 milliliters to a solution makes it half. How many 100 milliliter additions do I need to make it half a quarter strength in concentration? So half a quarter, half a quarter. So 100 per half, 100. I think it's 300 milliliters. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, my brain! <laughs> my gourd! It's so swollen! I'm a genius! Uh, <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> Beautiful. It's just a lucky guess. No, it was math. I'm smart. No, it's just a guess. <laughs> uh huh. And I just uh, suck you off for the uh, nutritional benefits. <laughs> what? Oh, what? Let's move along. <laughs> good moment. Good moment. That's a good gay moment. <laughs> I don't think I ever told you about overdevelopment. Not that I recall. Well, when you expose your photograph to the light capturing chemicals for too long, eventually it captures too much light, and the image gets completely ruined. So it's always something you want to avoid doing. Well, not necessarily. Sometimes you might find photographs that you don't want to develop. But you have to give them the right number of photo counts in their reel. So you've ruined stuff on purpose before. I'll admit it. Stuff like what? Most of the stuff I don't think I should be seeing. Or anybody should be seeing. Uh, stuff like what? We occasionally get compromising pictures of sleeping women taking their with, uh, taken without their permission. And there are more pictures of unmasked uh, hangers than I would like. Hangings? Unmasked hangings. That's what it says, not hangers. Mm. But any image that shows... Uh, what? But any image that shows 
of a pickaxe wound, perchance, <laughs> could spend uh, some time in the developer. He fucks a photograph from the clothesline on the string and hands it to me. It's a picture of somebody's wound. Oh, I know this wound. I feel my tongue getting dry. Uh, put it in the first tray. He means the light gray one full of developer. I drop it into the container and watch the image get drenched in fluid, darkening it, marking out everything until it's completely dark. The image is gone, but the picture can't, uh, the picture count is not. How does it get so dark? It's the light. There's so much information in the light that it can't capture all of its subtleties and intricacies. So it's all lost in the details. He's starting staring down at the image in the tray. His voice sounds strange. Strained. Usually darkness is what we ascribe to the occasional... Yes, and wait, occlusion? Mm -hmm. Occlusion. Or the distortion of what's really there. But it's light that does it, really. Warping through glass, bending through water, splitting through stones. Traveling through great distances in, in from outer space to power our plants, which we put in our bodies. The light comes to warn us. To warm us, to graze us, to travel through us. He's muttering now. Some visible, some most invisible. Oh, I hope you're enjoying this conversation you're having with yourself. 10 out of 10. <laughs> he blinks as if he's suddenly a lot more aware of his surroundings. <laughs> right. Right. He tightens his lips. Then he chuckles. Usually, when I go on about these things, Adalia interjects with thoughts of her own. He waves his paw in the air. Usually, rebuttals. He smiles. Sound once. I wonder if I should tell him how he was talking there was the first time he's reminded me of his father. But that's too cruel to say. Even if I think it's true. At least for him, it's more of a passing thing than a constant. I want to talk about something else right now. I look at some of the pinned photos on the wall. It dawns on me that a lot of these photos in this room belong to the Burns family. I see a much older Dahlia, on, younger, younger Dahlia on a stage in front of a microphone. It'd be interesting if he had pictures of older Dahlia. Yeah, yeah, from Silent Hill. True, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, there's ones of Mrs. and of Mr. and Mrs. Burns eating cake, perhaps from an anniversary. Hey, teenage Holly is smiling from a typewriter. Uh, you mentioned today that you had a a concussion once. Oh, I certainly did. And there's Holly blowing out candles on a birthday cake. It was horrible. I had headaches for weeks. Wonder, well, weird that there's that there aren't many pictures of Murdoch there. I still do on occasion. Oh. Oh. Is that Ralphie? Yeah. Okay. Look at that tail. Look at the tail. And then I'm assuming that has to be his brother. Probably. Yeah. Oh, there's one. Uh, how did it happen? I was a teenager. It happened during the summer. All I remember is that it was a fishing trip. Like this one. Murdoch walks down, walks towards me and stares over my shoulder, then grunts. How did that get here? Anyways, no, not like that one. Uh, that's a happy memory. Me and Ralph were teaching a seam Seamus? Seamus. Seamus. Uh, how to prevent uh, his line from snapping. I don't know Ralph could have been... Uh, could uh, be even skinnier. Yeah, I'm surprised none of the uh, bigger catfish pulled him in. <laughs> the first is Emma. Uh, were, uh, the first in Emma were a lot bigger back then. The fish in Emma. Well... 
Or maybe it was just uh, us who got bigger. He smiles a bit and then turns and in turns into a frown. Now I miss him. You said he's round, right? Uh, we think so. Oh, is this like Riverdale? Oh, <laughs> yeah. They're gonna pull. Up, they're gonna find a gunshot wound, and then, and then it's gonna be like, oh, he was killed days before he was thrown into the river. Oh no! And then Holly's gonna go full Cheryl. I want it to be Dahlia. You want it to be Dahlia? Yeah, yeah. They'll know soon enough. I'm you, guilty. Don't, don't you see Dahlia doing that? Really? Uh, be a fucking drama queen. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. Holly would just be nonchalant about everything. Yeah. She'd be like, oh, yes. Come on, we know that she's the Veronica of this. <laughs> oh, man. I don't think she's cool enough to be Veronica, You're though. right, she's not. I would say Blythe's more the Veronica than anything. She's too, well, I almost said she's too young when they're the same age. They're, in, well, they're, supposed to be in they're high school. literally the same age. Literally in high school, so mm, I don't know. Do you think Blythe would say full dark, no, no stars? stars? 100%. <laughs> oh my god, I would bet my life on that. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, uh, and the next AU spinoff, like one shot they do, they'll have like say. Just. Just full, full, full dark, dark no, Samuel, Please. I'm gonna need your help. But we're, we're going, going full, full dark, dark no, no stars. stars. Oh my god, <laughs> I need this. <laughs> I need this. You think so? He leans back on uh, against the countertop and shifts his weight from his uh, left foot to his right. And he and some of his friends stowed away on a steamboat they weren't supposed to be on during the 4th of July. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Oh, wait, we wait are Riverdale. Second. We really are. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting places, guys. I mean, the mom's name is named Gretchen. Yeah. Gretchen is giving very... Oh, Mrs. Blossom, right? Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. I can't wait for Cynthia to put on a wig and walk out as Dark, dark Cynthia. Cynthia. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> dark Cynthia. <laughs> oh, and she drowns Cliff. Oh, but please, though. <laughs> oh, was he stupid? Murdoch glares at me. He was eight. Oh, sorry. So that's a yes. Uh, they were going to. Uh, they were going to set off some fireworks Ralph made for them from the lake. One of his friends saw the boat got rocky. Uh, that he tripped and fell and took a tumble outside. But not before his arm got caught in the wheel. Shit. They found his paw. Just the, uh, just none of the rest of them. Sometimes I try to think that he passed out and died of shock rather than him being awake while his lungs collapsed. But I like to remember him like this instead. It's the first week of summer. Honeysuckles and huckleberries are taking over the hillside, leaving the smell, leaving the air smelling sickly, sickly, sticky and sweet. The campfire smoke is in the air too. And pl pl pulpy? Pulpy. Pulpy. Pine wood and sharp nettles. The slimy fish skin too, and the catfish were good to eat when you didn't uh, want to go home for supper, so the struggle was worth it. I wonder how he'd remember himself if he uh, were here today. Probably envious of an age where fishing wasn't as boring as watching paint dry. <sighs> He smirks. Fishing is only as interesting as the company you bring. I cross my arms. You said before that you think whatever is happening here has something to do with it, don't you? He grabs another blackened photo from the developing tray with a tongs. I do. Well, you never explained why. Maybe it's just an unhappy coincidence. I got my uh, concussion on the same day, Sam. I don't think that was a coincidence. You really don't remember what happened. 
Murdoch puts down his tongs and stares at the wall like he's deep in thought. Oh, are we gonna do a Silent Hill Homecoming where it was, where Murdoch, it was Murdoch the whole time that uh pushed like put him in the thing? Yeah, absolutely. Ah, uh, good, good, very good. No, and don't insinuate that I'm lying. If I don't, if I didn't think I could be honest with you, Sam, I wouldn't have brought you here. Well, I don't, th I don't like thinking about what happened to me. But I remember it. Then, we had different experiences. On occasion, I try to remember what happened to me. Little pieces come and go, but there is never enough for a coherent picture. Might I uh, inquire about those little pieces, if I may be so bold? It's a fair thing to ask. I already know too much about you without even trying. He shrugs. Be as nosy as you like. No, okay. What's anything at all that you can remember that day? He taps his chin and narrows his eyes. You ever see a Boy Scout troop play Capture the Flag? Of course I have. That's the best game I've ever played. <laughs> well, back then, we used to call it Flag Raiding. Me and Ralph and most of the kids in our neighborhood played it on Saturdays. But we moved this one to Tuesday because it was a holiday. And playing these big games made babysitting a lot more easy and tolerable. You were babysitting. My parents had dressed their best and went off out of town. My ma said it was Pa's most important business trip to date. So they were extra stern about me watching over the girls and... Seamus? During one of the games, I went back home to get some water. All I remember is going through the front door, then feeling something hit the back of my head. Shit. Turns out, they were, we were being robbed. You were lucky you didn't die, you son of a bitch. <clears throat> it didn't feel that way when I woke up. The first thing I heard after waking up was him telling me about the pieces of... A Seamus, they found. A gentle touch, that one. Oh, Murdoch shru shrugged again. He had a right to be forceful about it. A Seamus was my responsibility. You were a child, and you were assaulted. You could say that. Or I could say that all of the worst possible things happened to a line at the right time. I had a feel. I had to feel uh, discouraged enough to go home. The robber had to feel desperate or envious enough to steal my family's things and knock me out before I could see him. Seamus had to feel bold enough to break the rules and hop onto a boat. And whatever else got into his head and mess around near the water wheel. So, where were your sisters during all of this? Holly snuck off to be with her friends and Dahlia was at an overnight finishing school. So how is that all your fault? And none of hers. I don't think a chain event like that can really be anyone's fault. At least not anyone mortal. Nor could it. Or, uh... Or it could be. And you could get uh, just a little bit angry at all the people... At the people who contributed to the neglect. That wouldn't solve anything. Might ease the mental load. Doubtful. You know... Sometimes I think I'm too selfish. Doing what feels good. Or who uh, feels good. In spite of the values I was raised on. But then I talked to somebody like you and couldn't be envious of one, one bit about what uh, selflessness does to the man, the mind of a man. See, always be selfish, people. That is, is that the that's the moral, moral of, of the story. story. The moral of the smoke room, yes, always be selfish. Yes, always be self-serving. I see, I see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, sir. Not envious one bit. The first time I saw you, I assumed you couldn't be envious of anything at all. But after we spent the night together, you surprised me in a way that I didn't think you would. No, really. You showed me you wanted stability, and that you don't have it. And so what? My family gives me that, Sam. You really think that's going to last? 
Well, why shouldn't it? Access to good food? My own income? A routine? A part to play in their busy lives, tending to their busy affairs. If they didn't need me, then uh, they wouldn't make space for me. It's very simple. I understand what you're saying. I just think it's a terrifying way to live. Now, why is that? Because I don't trust your family one bit. <laughs> but I do. There's something wrong with them, Murdoch. They're nuts. <laughs> They're all brilliant, actually. They just aren't always kind. Now that's an understatement. If you don't trust them, can you at least trust me? I'll trust you if you face the possibility that uh, they'll hurt you. What? Can you look me in the eye and tell me that they may not love you? Sam. Whew. Do you want my sympathy, or do you want my trust? He looks at me in the eye. Uh, he looks me in the eye for a moment, then looks away. Well, I, uh... Hmm. Tell me they might not love you. He swallows. All right. All right what? What you said is possible. Finally. That's at least something. I never said it's a complete truth. I just need to know that well, you can prepare for the worst. Preparation is one asset I'm constantly valued for. Though I prefer not to meet the condition of those circumstances. But what if you already have? Then I'm already prepared. I just don't think that the state of- I just don't, uh... I just don't think that's the state of things. He didn't say much more throughout the day as we developed the rest of the photos. Uh, nothing risque or gru gruesome, thankfully. Five o'clock comes faster than I thought it would, and my head is dizzy with the cloying scent of fox and chemicals in the small, warm room. Looks like it's about time to head off and go home. He turns around and points at something hanging on the door handle. Make sure you bring your suit with you. No, right. You're sure you'll be able to get it hemmed? <clears throat> because we can always go back to the tailor if we need... It's fine. I shut the door as I leave the red room. I wonder how Cynthia will mind me asking for a favor. Whoa. Okay. Well, I think we'll end the part here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we'll see you around, everyone.